on this episode of Food Follies. Hi guys, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again with more Food Follies. As you can see, I just made this sign to introduce every time I go into doing an episode of Food Follies. Hope you like it. I, I, I put effort into it. A lot of effort. I think it's pretty cute. But anyway, let's jump right into it. So today on this episode of Food Follies, I'm going to be trying this snack that um, I actually recently have been seeing a lot in the store lately and I've been passing over it. But hey, Food Follies isn't just about enjoying food, it's about trying new things too. So here it is. These are called the Original Cake Bites. It's ultimate party cake and it consists of three layers and they show you what the layers are down here, if you can see. They have colorful sprinkles, rich white chocolate coating, raspberry jelly, and the party cake. So, I'm a little hesitant to try it. I mean, it may be good, who knows, but I do like trying new things, so and this is what Food Follies is about, so let's try it. Ooh, it's three, ooh, it really does smell good. It smells really good. If you can get a, a, if you can look closely at it, you see the sprinkles and everything. I'll take one out just so you can see it. Since it's chocolate, it may melt. I'm just gonna put that right there, so you can actually see what it looks like. It does look like what it is on the package. So, all right. Without any further ado, why don't we give this thing a try? Here I go. You know, it really isn't bad at all. Once you bite into it, you can taste all three of the layers and a little bit of the jelly that's in between. And the chocolate's good too. It melts so much, of course. Chocolate melts that. But actually, it's not that bad, actually. Mm. Mm. Not bad. expect it though I honestly thought that it would be a, like a little bit more moist because cake usually it's supposed to be like moist and kind of spongy but it's not too bad it really isn't I, I expected something totally different I thought that you'd be able to like taste the whatever raspberry jelly that's between the cake I thought you'd be able to taste it like really like taste it like strong but you really don't taste it you taste mainly the chocolate and then the cake layers well, it's still good. It's still very good. Mmm. Got chocolate on my hands, guys. Mmm. It's actually really okay. Mmm. Okay. I'll save the rest for later. But it really, actually, in reality. It was pretty good. I've been passing over that snack for a long time. I kept looking at it and I was like, do I really want to try it? But then it just hit me. I was like, why don't I? Why not? It was only like two bucks, so not the corner store that I go to. So, okay. We tried something new today and I liked it. It was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Would I eat it on the daily? No. But it was still fun to try it. It was good. And you probably can find those in your local bodega, supermarket, or whatever, in the snack aisle or whatever. Just look for it. It's called, again, it's called the Original Cake Bites. I ripped the thing so you can see, but if you need the name again, it's called the Original Cake Bites, the Ultimate Party Cake, and it will look like this. It will be um, green, yellow, and red layers with frosting, or chocolate, or whatever, and sprinkles on top. All right, guys, so that's the end of that food follies. It was pretty good. And just an update for this segment. I'm going to be, not only is the sign something new, I may try to put music in the background of it. Um, and there are several challenges that I want to do. Also, I'll be making things too. So I'll also be part of Food Folly. I'll be making things, the simple things, of course, not no big cooking or making a nine course meal kind of thing. But it's going to be really sweet. Like, I'm thinking about making um, Coke floats soon, s'mores, things like that. Like, trying different. Chocolate Halloween is coming up, even though I don't celebrate Halloween personally, but I'll be trying some Halloween snacks. Like, um, I'm trying to, trying to find, sorry, 
I'm trying to find the uh, cookies and scream M&Ms. I'm gonna try those. I'm gonna want to make cold flows. I want to feature other people on my on my um on my food folly segment too, because you've been seeing I've been doing a lot of collaborations with other people. So I'm hoping more people can join me. We can talk about food, try food, and I really, really, really am dying to do some of these like really weird challenges that I've seen online, like. For instance, the spicy noodle saying young spicy, super spicy noodle challenge. If I can get my hands on that, believe me, I will be uploading it here. I will be trying it to see if I can get through the bowl. I might not, but I will be doing all kinds of things for that. So yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So please stay tuned. Your views are extremely important to me and I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, guys. If you like this. Leave a like and subscribe down below because I'll be doing a lot more food folly segments for you to enjoy. And hopefully you'll want to try it yourself. So I hope I can encourage that. <laughs> Alright guys, so thanks again for watching. This is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying bye guys.